Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I'm gonna do a quick review on this mobile VXR3000 microphone. Now, the reason that I got this microphone is because up to this point, I've either been using the GoPro without a microphone, which sounds really bad, especially when I'm holding it or when it's moving around. It just has so many noises that it makes the audio pretty much unusable. So what I did is I bought this small, the Saramonic uh, microphone here. I didn't really do a review on it because I thought it was kind of small. I, I figured it wasn't going to be worth it. Uh, so I started using it. And later on when I started uh, editing these videos, uh, I realized there's a sound that the microphone makes. So I decided to buy another one just so that I can use this one for vlogging. And obviously the camera that I'm using uh, now is going to be mostly for standalone videos like this one. And so before I show you the difference between these two microphones, let me unbox this one right here. Okay, so I got this one off of Amazon. Uh, the one that I saw on the camera now, I got it from Best Buy for about 25 bucks. One of the major reasons that I got this one uh, compared to the other one that they have, which is like a 360, is because the other one needs a battery and you need to turn it on every time before you uh, start recording, which uh, I kind of already saw myself messing up and not turning it on. And this one doesn't require uh, outside power, so that's one of the major reasons. Um, so here it is, there's the box right here. It comes with a little case, which is pretty nice. It comes with a note uh, saying, I guess, satisfaction guarantee type of note. And it comes with a quick uh, start guide. So it does have a right uh, channel and a left channel. It has a headphone jack. Uh, shoe mount, which uh, I'm, I like the, because I can put it on this GoPro, but I'm also expecting to stick out too much. That's the reason why I don't use the Rode microphone that I have on this camera now with the GoPro because it just sticks out so much and occasionally it tends to go into the frame. Uh, and you see it comes with two cables. Yeah, it's omnidirectional. It's plug-in power from the camera. Uh, frequency is 35 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Uh, 80 decibel and yeah, it only weighs 28 grams which is really light obviously it's really small I like this case though it almost feels like a fiberglass case nice and hard and so I'm gonna open this up inside oh nice it does have rubber feet uh, attached to the hot shoe so that hopefully uh, relieve some of the noise from me, uh, me handling the tripod on this top little pouch has uh, this to keep it dry and it has the noise reduction, little after looking things. Uh, I forget what they call these. I know I'm not gonna use these um, because uh, that's one that I have on there now and it doesn't really stop a lot of the wind sound. So I saw that it comes with the dead cat. So I'm probably gonna use this one. In fact, I'll install it on there now. And it does come with two cables. So one cable is if I want to use it with the cell phone, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use it with the uh, camera here. And so let's see. Yeah, this one right here is for smartphone. So I'm not going to be using this one. I'll put that one away just in case I ever do use it with my cell phone. But I will use this uh, TRS cable right here. All right, so the other one's TRRS. And the dead cat, I'm just going to try to put it on here. You see the left channel, the right channel. And hopefully I don't break this thing. I always get nervous when I handle small items. All right, that wasn't too hard. I do like how it looks for some reason. It looks kind of funky. And then I'm just gonna get this cable ready and plug this right in here. Uh, you don't have a lot of room for the dead cat and the cable. So hopefully, maybe I should have put the cable in there first. I don't want to break the microphone. But okay, I got it in there. All right, so before I test this one, I, I want to let you guys hear how the microphone that I'm currently using sounds. All right, so this is the video coming off the GoPro. As you can probably hear, there's like some type of a weird sound coming off. It's really slight, that's why I didn't hear it in the beginning, but it's noticeable after a while. So that's how it sounds now. This is with no microphone right here. There's a light wind coming through. So I don't know if you can hear that wind or even when I touch the tripod, you can kind of hear everything like with my fingers running around and everything. And so that's the part that I don't like. And so this is the mobile right here. Obviously, uh, I can't hear it with you guys right now, but if everything works the way it's supposed to, it should sound a lot cleaner, a lot better, especially with the dead cat and the slight wind coming through. You probably notice that there's a, a definite difference. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna go back and forth. So this is the audio coming off the GoPro, and this is the audio coming off the uh, Canon EOS M50 here with the Rode microphone. They both have dead cats on there, so the wind shouldn't have a big effect on it. 
uh, but uh, like I said I want to use this one for vlogging the problem is that as I'm gonna show you it looks a little bit too much right so I gotta figure out a way to get it so that it doesn't look so funky you know maybe ma uh, cable management for sure because I have the audio adapter here uh, above the camera and then the microphone above that then it starts getting a little bit uh, tall uh, but I don't mind it as long as I'm getting good audio, uh, obviously good video from the GoPro. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and review this uh, video right here with the GoPro. Check out how the audio sounds and then I'll give you guys my last words in a little bit. Alright guys, so I'm back home and I was about to watch the footage from earlier uh, to give you guys my final thoughts. But I decided to do another comparison with the microphone that's on there now. With that microphone being the Rode Video Micro, which I bought from Amazon for about $59 compared to the $25 that I paid for this one. So the audio that you're listening to right now is coming from the Rode microphone and I'm gonna switch it over to the Movo. So the audio you're listening to right now is from the Movo microphone, which is again is $25. And just for the sake of completion, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the Saramonic microphone one more time. Again, this is the same price as the Movo. All right, so now remember the audio of this microphone and the GoPro had a little bit of a, a noise. Uh, now this is plugged into the M50. And just because I have it, I'm gonna plug this Labradier microphone that I bought for about 20 bucks uh, back in the day when I started vlogging and I was having issue with uh, audio. And so again, this is actually meant for a cell phone because it has a TRRS connector and, uh, and it does have an adapter. So I'm gonna plug in the TRS adapter, which you need to be able to uh, put it on a DSLR and other cameras. All right, so there we go. That's the sound coming off the lab deer. Now, obviously normally it would be on my chest, but right now I have it uh, right here, right next to the lens. So I don't know if the distance is gonna affect the sound quality. Uh, and then just for the final comparison, I'm gonna put on the camera audio. All right, so this is the final configuration. That is the audio coming off the camera. This time I'm indoors, so there's no uh, wind noise. I'm not touching the camera, uh, which uh, presumably would give you a lot of uh, noise. So that's it. Uh, let me check out the footage and I'll give you guys my final thoughts in just a quick second. All right, so I listened to the footage, uh, compared the different audios, both on the GoPro and on this camera. And I just have a couple of final thoughts. Uh, as you notice, obviously the Rode mic has the best quality uh, for a couple reasons. I think uh, one, it gets rid of the ambient sound a little bit better. Plus it works a little bit more like a boom mic because you can actually hear my voice a lot clearer than the ambient sound. In fact, right now behind me there's live music and you can probably hear a little bit, uh, but it's not as much as if I had either the camera microphone or the uh, the mobile microphone on there so obviously as they say you get what you pay for and being that this uh, road mic is the most expensive at $60 you should get the best quality for that reason I plan to use this microphone with the M50 every time that I use standalone videos like this but I probably won't use it with the GoPro every time I try to do uh, vlogs because it's just so big and uh, normally for vlogs I want the ambience light, uh, sound so when I have my camera facing uh, my daughters, you can still kind of hear what I'm saying to them so that you can hear the conversation. Now when I compare the mobile and the road um, uh, audio, it's very clear that the mobile has a lot more of a di dimensional sound so you can hear what's going on behind me to the sides and then also in front of me. Also I don't feel like my voice is as clear as I would want it to be. In fact, I think the Ceramonic microphone actually sounds better than the mobile if it wasn't for that clicking sound in the background. Uh, it's faint enough that you can probably miss it, but because now I know that it's there, it's kind of hard to ignore. Maybe I have a defected uh, Saramonic microphone. I'm not willing to spend another $25 to see if I had a bad one. Uh, so I'm just going to stick to the mobile for now when I do blogging. Uh, but just a little caveat, I'm thinking about getting the GoPro Max, and I heard that that has better video. But I'm going to wait a little bit until all the little uh, bugs get fixed before I buy it. I'll probably buy it closer to Christmas time. Uh, when we go to California for our trip. And just real quick on the lap deer, if I put it on my chest and I'm able to control the sensitivity of the audio like I can with my Nikon 750, I like it better. But with this particular camera where I don't really have too much control over the sensitivity, uh, I hear a lot of the background noise and it's not as crisp and clear as the road. And it's also um, obviously because it's a longer cable, it's a smaller microphone. I don't think it's as practical as the mobile. So the Lavadier, I'll probably stop using that one. But if I'm being completely honest, I'm actually pretty impressed with the audio coming out of the uh, internal microphone from this camera. 
uh, but I just know that if I use it for vlogging or if there's a lot of ambient noise, it's just not going to be better than the Rode mic. So the audio that you're listening to right now is coming from the Rode microphone and I'm going to switch it over to the Movo. So the audio you're listening to right now is from the Movo microphone, which is again is $25. All right, so now remember the audio of this microphone and the GoPro had a little bit of a, a noise. All right, so there we go. That's the sound coming off the lab gear. Now, obviously, normally it would be on my chest. All right, so this is the final configuration. That is the audio coming off the camera. All right, so that's it, guys. I guess for the time being, I'm going to use the Rode microphone with this M50 right here for standalone videos. And for when I do vlogging, I'm going to use this setup right here because so far I've gotten the best quality. But let me know what you guys think. Which audio did you prefer? Do you think it's worth having that big road mic right on here when I'm vlogging? Or is this more practical? If you like this video, please hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I have a bunch of videos coming up. Uh, hit that bell so you get notified when those videos pop up. And again, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.